Okay, so we forgot to do Mars in the third house in Aquarius for Sagittarius ascendant people. So today we're going to be covering that. What happens with Mars goes into the third house in Aquarius while it rules the 12th house, while it rules the fifth house. Okay, and as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, check out the links here, careastrology.com. You'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Maka Vedic Astrology Academy, where you will find, especially my new wristwatch course, which pretty much, I'm actually going to put an example today of somebody who got a watch or or pretty much they got rid of certain watches and they got a watch and got a promotion within a week within a week got a promotion that they were they were waiting for for a long time so i'll probably do that on the academy after this video um so when mars is in the third house one thing you'll see your communication is the most eccentric communication that happens. You can go from 0 to 100 and 100 to 0 in no time. Nobody can predict how you're going to be communicating with people. Especially with Mars and Aquarius, you will see a lot of Wi-Fi issues occur. Where your friend, your spouse can log on to some Wi-Fi, you have trouble. You always have to do two or three things before you log on to some Wi-Fi, unless, of course, Jupiter is somehow blessing this Mars. Younger brother and husband, both are very eccentric with their thinking. Very technical in nature or love, you know, aerospace, uh, new age technology. Otherwise, they, they probably want to become either astrologers, okay, or... Especially with Aquarius, you will see husband and brother or one of them will have a dual career, like complete opposite. Like, for example, somebody is a financial stockbroker or financial broker in a bank. And when they come home, they do tantric sadhanas and they help people through tantra or they help people through astrology and vastu. There's, it's like the very eccentricity in their life and behavior. And especially they... Coming up in life, it either felt would have felt like pretty much like a penance that they were doing. Everything they had to do, they felt like their one hand, hand was tied behind their back and one foot was up. And now they have to perform things, which means they become frustratingly hard. But if they align, and it, whether it's your brother, especially in a female star, will be their husband. When they align themselves with your particular planetary placements, they find calmness. For example, if Mars has Ketu right in front. Or Mars, Mercury, both are in front of uh, Mars. They're going to be probably going to go towards chartered accountancy or electrical engineering. Or if they switch to these particular things, Things happen, especially because they're married to you. And one of the other things that happen is this person cannot, cannot get along with their bosses. Major fights happen with bosses, especially if, more so from the Ascendant, if Mars is in the third from the moon, they cannot work under someone. Because again, you can look at things from different perspectives. Okay, like for example, if Mars is in the third from Venus, okay, they will not be able to take commands of their spouse and their business. Or whatever work that the spouse would be doing, they'll always criticize that work. So this, So you can look at it, like I said, you can look at it from many different perspectives. And especially for these people. Their happiness really comes through um, whenever they go for massages and resorts. When they're dealing with like finance and money. Whenever they somehow have to carry on family's income, family's wealth, they somehow your husband's happiness or your brother's happiness comes in. 
Also, in your case, there would be a time where you would get into fight with your neighbor, especially over political differences. I will not be saying this if Mars was in Cancer or if, let's say, Mars was in even Aries, but with Aquarius. Actually, I would say Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. These are the three signs where you would get into some spat with your neighbor. You will also see one of your neighbor may also be a drunk or drinks excessively. Maybe you invited them for some Diwali uh, or some Christmas party. And you didn't know them so well until they came and then boom, they finished the whole bottle. And they may actually be fine. I've known people like this, like they can finish the whole bottle of uh, black label and red label. And they're just like, hey, right, let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go hang out. Like, it's like, are you OK? Apparently, their tolerance is very high. Mine is like if I even have this much, I'm good, man. I'm 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 good. You know, so, yeah, that mine mine never peaked, I think. But also when Mars is in the third house. You will usually see such person whenever, you know, when you go to a temple and you wear that red rolly. Whenever you have the red rolly on, your anger becomes active. You have dual personality come out. And this is the individual who has this particular Mars in the third house. And especially you will see whenever you wear a red rolly. In the south direction, there will be some mistake made within a week or two. You'll put something there. Even by with an image, some murti, something you will bring creates like absolute major havoc in your life. So you want to be careful. Like you can go to a, you know, a, a temple, and usually, if they have a yellow colored thread, you can wear a yellow colored thread. You know, yellow colored thread. Mar red one is really great, but even with this Mars, red one can be excellent if certain planets are supporting Mars. But if, let's say, you have Saturn in the 12th, Rahu in the 4th, and then you wear a red one, some fight will happen within a week, within a day or two. Sometimes in hours you will see. You start getting irritated with everything and everyone. And your efforts are your effort will be very erratic. Efforts become erratic. But one thing is this: you're skilled, either in the art of technology, one skilled in the art of like even martial arts. Because this is a very airy sign. There's a lot of air in this, and Mars's fire is in there. So because there's so much buildup of this concentrated air and fire, it comes out through physical fights. Like they actually love pain. Usually we'll see with Mars in the third and Aquarius, they'll even get a tattoo on her shank area. And especially that tattoo can be either of some fierce God, or even it could be a um, tattoo of like a sword or knife. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Mars in the third house in Aquarius for Sagittarius ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you didn't miss this type of video. So if you want to know everything about your chart, all my courses, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.